There is a lot of prep work to get to this point in the video. Please follow the link provided at the end of this video for additional assistance for all the tasks leading up to this. Once at this point, remove the right side heat shield from the support bracket. Do not forget to reinstall this when you put the transmission back into the car as it protects the shifter cables and mechanism from the extreme heat of the exhaust system. With the muffler removed from the car, remove the aluminum reinforcement bar from underneath the vehicle, attached with bolts indicated by green arrows. Detach the muffler support bracket from the end of the transmission orange arrow. This photo shows the process of disconnecting the shifter cables. Using two screwdrivers placed on either side of the ball, pull up and snap each shifter cable end, green arrow, off its ball mount, yellow arrows. Detach the shifter cable sheath from its bracket by removing the small spring clips and prying them out of their bracket. Insert photo upper left. Inspect the inside of the cables carefully as you may find they are cracked and need replacement. Unfortunately, at this time, you cannot replace just the bushings in the cable, but only the cable itself. This photo of the engine with the transmission removed shows the location and type of fasteners that attach the transmission. The location and orientation of the hardware can be very confusing and it's not well documented in the factory manual, so I provided a length of part numbers for the Boxster Please follow the link for those part numbers. This photo shows the bottom of the transmission as we are pulling it away from the engine. The engine weight is supported by jack stands, white arrow. Place the jack stand on the boss of the engine case where the green arrow is pointing. As you pull away the transmission from the engine, you will see a small gap begin to appear, yellow arrow. This indicates that you are proceeding correctly and the transmission is beginning to come out. Although you can do it by yourself, I highly recommend having a friend to help. Using your jack, carefully line up the bottom of the jack with the bottom of the transmission as shown. If you position it just right, you will be able to balance the transmission perfectly on the jack. Don't put your arms, legs, or face underneath the transmission as you are pulling it out. Once the main shaft disconnects from the center of the clutch, it will become really wobbly on your jack. Lower it to the floor carefully and pull it out from under the car. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.